So next one, police, army. They rep that is the form. And the function of the police and army is, um, you know, to protect and serve and defend. Uh, but the number one thing that separates them from other people, because we all, any of us can protect and serve and defend our, our community. But in order to become a policeman, you have to go to the academy. As soon as you go into the army uh, or military of any kind, the very first thing they do is send you to boot camp. Where does what happen? boot camp? You become disciplined. You know, you work as a you learn how to work as a unit, as a disciplined unit. Now, yeah, of course, you know, we all have there's you know bad apples and things, and you know, but in in the grand scheme of things, you know, if you go to any one department, yeah, you might have you know. Even up to you know ten to twenty percent of them that are you know, corrupt right? on the high end. That's still still the vast majority of them are disciplined. I mean, and yeah, maybe you have some precincts for all of them, but you know, still out of, out of all of the police and army world, uh, the vast majority of them are very disciplined. So part part one, they may be told what to do or what they, some of them may be doing on their own. So how does that relate to the consciousness, uh, your own self-discipline? So a lot of times, I mean, it's, it almost never fails. Any is my mentees, when they first be, start working with dreams or, you know, working with, you know, universal laws and manifestation, when they're paying attention to their dreams, within a few weeks to a month or two months, Police start showing up the dreams, you know, because, you know, one of the things like I, I give practical, I, I, I provide practical metaphysics, you know, ways that you can practice applying these concepts. I'm not just, you know, it's not philosophy. We're not just out here just talking about it. This is a great idea. What do you think? Let's conceptualize. <laughs> no, we're, we're like, oh, okay, let's put it to practice. You know, let's put the pedal to the metal. Let's, you know, get on our grind and really see what's really going on here. You know, I don't want to waste any time if it's some bullshit, you know. I'm going to let that go and pass it up. I'm going to be thorough in my research to make sure before I, you know, miss out on the opportunity to grow. But I'm going to find out for myself. Also, I encourage mentees to do the same way, same thing. And very often, you know, 89% of the time, one of the first things that's needed is, is more concentration. Because because that affords so much in your life, you know, you can listen better, you can, uh, you know, control your thoughts better. You can, <clears throat> which are going to result in, you know, what you experience in your in your waking reality. You can direct your mind better. You can experience your emotions better. You can do, you can achieve your goals so much faster. <laughs> I mean, just everything. Attention, attention is your greatest commodity. You know, if. If anyone wants to impart something upon you, sell you something, tell you something, anything at all, they first have to have your attention. Otherwise, you won't receive it. You know, we all can think of a time where someone was talking to us or calling for us, and we had no clue what was going on because our attention was either, you know, daydreaming or somewhere else or, you know, watching TV or on a phone or something, you know, and we had no clue what was going on. So that person did not have our attention at the time. I know plenty of times when I was a kid, mom be calling my name, but I'm just consumed with whatever I'm doing. I have no clue, <laughs> you know. So, your know, attention is very, very valuable. And who's in control of your attention is even more valuable, because if it's not you, it's it's someone or something else who's in control of your attention. So, gaining control of your attention is very powerful. And whenever you know somebody doesn't have any type of level of control or only a small level of control, I always highly encourage them to concentrate more. And and that is usually when the police start showing up, is when they start doing concentration exercises. Because that that you really have to be disciplined for. You know, writing down dreams and, and stuff, you know, isn't doesn't take as much discipline to do. Just mainly because it's so much more fun, because it's engaging, you know. Concentration, it's like, let me just sit here and look at this. And anything else that could possibly be entertaining, actually, I'm finding out is a distraction. <laughs> so I need to remove my attention from this and place it on this boring old plane. Place it on this boring old drop of water, you know. So, um, so it does take a lot of discipline, and that's when the police start showing up. 
simply start rounding people up in your dream, you know? So that takes me to back to what we talked about last week, prison, you know? So anyways, that's what police will represent. 